Well, hello, how are you? It's good to see you again. Something's missing. I can't find my sunglasses. I had them last night and I was doing a video, but I was doing it like in four different clips and I kept taking them off and putting them on and taking them off. And I usually, when I, when I get done using them, I put them in the hat. I put the hat in the drawer. And they're not in the drawer. It's probably right in front of me. And I'll order another pair, but you know, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> what are you gonna do? Anyway, look, micro top micro. Can't you not very much? And we all know not really. Roy. Microtech. Micro talk. It's probably uh, who knows who knows where I got that. I'm, I'm still thinking about where's my sunglasses. Microtech signature series. This one here is the Ultratech Whorehound. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a Warhound. I call it a Whorehound. It's mine. I can call it whatever the fuck I want to. Signature series stone wash standard. Let's get right to it, because I have nothing really same as yesterday. Life is good. Just December. Soon to be January. Like Don McLean said, January made me sure it wasn't February. With every paper I delivered. Bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widow bride. Something touched me deep inside. The day the music died. And they were singing bye bye Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And good old boys were drinking whiskey and rice, singing this would be the day that I die. Anywho, back at the ranch. So, Microsoft, mi Microsoft, Microtech, it's a micro fucking something. Anyway, look, um, I waited a long time for a a uh, I don't know what the hell I waited a long time for but I it, it'll come to me uh, Hellhound Jeepers Christ Jeepers Jeepers Rory alright so I figured well you know what I love a good Warncliff and this uh, Microtech came out I'd already pulled it out Comes with your typical stuff. Warhound. Hey, I got it right. Typical custom sharp edges from MB, whoever the fuck MB is. Could be just something where they print on the sticker where there's really no MB. It's just, I don't know why I'm putting it back in the fucking plastic. I don't know why, people. Why? Because I'm fucked up. That's why. I'm temporarily fucked up. Yes, it's not a permanent thing. Right there, uh, uh, black and white puppet kitty. So anyway, so here it is. This is the Ultra Tech. Now I'll tell you what. If I found the Ultra Tech when I first found Microtech in general, I bought my first one was the uh, Combat Truodon. If I knew about the Ultra Tech. I think I would have just, you know, stayed there and probably not. You know me, still the same OG. Uh, I got, I got rhyme. This is the signature one, so your logo's a little bit different, right there. So anyway, but you got your your hawk thing over on the clip, and you got your claw and your signature, you know, from Marfione, right here, and this one. I like the black and the white contrast. You know, who doesn't? 
nice clip. Speaking of clip, you know, I, I sleep with a, a knife in my pocket. And I had one in my pocket, and I was like, it was the spider code camus, camus, camus. And I had it in my pocket, and I went to pull it out of my pocket. Well, my pocket had gotten all wonky. And I went to pull it out, and it caught it on the clip. And boy, it bent that clip. I'm going to have to unscrew it and bend the clip back. I can't believe that happened. So anyway, you know what's going to happen as soon as I buy another pair of sunglasses. I'm going to find the old one. But this bad boy is the Ultratech Warhound. Closed, it is five inches. That's pretty good size, five inches. It'd look better if I could keep it in the little little window. Overall, we're looking at eight point, now check this out. This is, this is a, because it looks like, well, that looks like just a regular Ultratech. Well, it is just a regular Ultratech. But there's no such thing as a regular Ultratech. But check this out. Oh my, this is a Warncliffe. This is a Warncliffe and stonewashed. This is a flat grind. No, I'm sorry, it's a hollow grind. This is very sharp. This has nice jimping right up in here. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Mm -hmm. Yes, typical Microtech wobble but that's okay. We're used to that Microtech wobble. Nice grind, nice grooves, nice where everything is supposed to be. It's very nice. Yes, I like it. I really do. And that's what, you know, I mean, who doesn't like a fucking Warncliffe knife? I mean, seriously, ladies and gentlemen. So this blade, typical Ultratech, is looking in at 3.35. 3.5 ounces too also t6 aluminum yeah buddy whatever that means that could mean anything we don't know it could mean recycled beer can for all we know i saw the weirdest thing yesterday one of the cats was digging in the ground smelling and digging like a fucking dog smelling and digging smelling and digging went down about six inches and the damn thing pulled some out and i went and looked at it was it was a grub one of them, them white oozy looking grubs with the with the dark head. Ugly looking thing. I don't know if you wanted to eat it or just play with it. But it was weird. Never saw a cat dig like a dog. But you thought you saw everything and you've seen it here first. Close is just five inches. That's what I said. You got your glass breaker, your window breaker, your, your your skull crusher. You have a little hole here for a lanyard if you decide to use one. I don't use them on these. I don't use them on all my knives. But this is nice. This is nice. It is The handle is, is typical Microtech. It is typical Microtech quality. You know, you can't beat that. You can't go wrong. I mean, it's... it's it, it's it's just sweet. Every one of them is sweet. What year was this? Speaking of sweet, this is uh. I hate it when they do that because they got a, a line and it looks like a seven. October 2022. What are you gonna do? Ultratech. There's the one Ultratech. Yeah, buddy. Same size, like I told you. This one is a drop point, spear point. I have serrations on it. I like this one. This is nice. It's like a, uh, a maroon, burgundy, something or other. Now, here is another one that I was having a hell of a time finding. I even bought a, 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 a Chinese clone, not a counterfeit. I don't buy counterfeit, it was a clone just because I was annoyed. This is a Truidon, Signature Series Truidon in, I'm losing my notes. I'm losing my mind too. That's probably where I lost my fucking sunglasses, down in the darkest recesses of my mind. Ah, I'm okay, you're okay, we're all okay. That was a book I read one time. But the Ultratech's bigger. 
I was like, huh, I didn't know an Ultra Tech was bigger than a Truidon, but it's smaller than a Combat Truidon, and it's bigger than a Mini Truidon because the, yeah, mm, the, yeah, this one, the regular Truidon is bigger than a Mini Truidon. So anything is about bigger than a Mini Truidon. Both of these are, yeah, both of these are signature series. Very nicely done. I like these uh, Hellhounds and um, Warhounds. I really do. This Hellhound looks a little bit bigger on the blade. It's just a little, it looks like it, but I don't think it is. Things are deceiving. Where's my sunglasses? But the handle's longer. Yes, and I'll tell you what, I like this Truidon. This uh, Hellhound Truidon, I really do. I I really, I like that. That's about, mm-hmm, yeah. And now this Warhound, I mean, what a pair. Ultratech Warhound, Microtech and uh, Combat, or yeah, mm -hmm, Truidon uh, Hellhound. Where can you go wrong? Here it is against the M3 something or other, the UTX. No, this is a Truidon, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I'm glad they got numbers written on them because if not, I'd totally forget what the fuck all these things are. This is a Truidon. Where are you going there, baby? I got another kitten down here. Kittens everywhere. One of the kittens is sick. I think something may have bit it. We'll see if it lives. Truidon. Signature Series Truidon, Hellhound, Warhound, Ultratech, yes, let's get them right, let's put them together, there we go, no, that's not right, this is right, nothing's right, nothing's left, everything is backwards, Wednesday's Thursday, you didn't know that? I have no idea what I'm doing here, nor do I really care. I'm showing you a knife. I'm blowing snot balls. Which one's this? This is a purple one. This is a uh, UTX-8085. Okay. So now we got a Truidon. We got a UTX-85. I'm running out of hat. And the UTX-85, you know, is about the same size as a Truidon. Well, it is the same size as a Truidon. Go figure. I mean, what are you going to do? You got a UTX-85... And you got a Truidon, either Signature, Hellhound, or, or you know, the regular, um, regular Truidon. And they're about the same size as the UTX-85. And if you don't know UTX-80, UTX is 85% of an Ultratech. And the UTX-85, UTX is Ultratech. And then you got this little itty bitty sucker. <laughs> it's a UTX 70. And it's cute. I mean, where can you go wrong? You just can't. So, anyway. There you go, boys and girls. I think I covered it all. We'll close it out with some. The beautiful sound of a of a uh, of a Microtech opening and closing. Don't you just love that? They all have a distinguished sound, just like a of you know different voice. Now here's the Warhound. I could do that all day. All right, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to see you again. It's always a fucking pleasure. I have to go. I'm terribly busy. It's not that I'm terribly busy because I'm, I'm terribly not busy. But it's just I have nothing more to give you. And if I give you anything else, it's probably going to turn out to be terribly fucking boring. Which it already is. I mean, who knows? Yep, gotta go. Very busy. We'll see you. Thanks for joining me. It's always a fucking pleasure.